Well, the response was pretty overwhelming, so I guess I'll keep playing dead man mode. We're just gonna have to PK some bank back. He should be... Oh, come on. One more hit. Dead. Yeah, he died. If I... He's the only person... Oh, is it an adamant full helm? I thought it was a rune full helm. Catch here just in case I know it messes my KO potential, but catch got the refreeze. Oh, he's gone. He's got to be gone here. Go on. Another big boy hit. Oh, he's out. He's out. Oh, come on. Yeah. Good fight. Was quitting. Oh, that's cool. Well, works out for me, dude. Okay, this. I needed this. This is the rebuild right there. 100% that is the rebuild for me. Look at this guy. Dude, he's trying his best. Right here. I'm forecasting him. That's gotta be dead. Yep. Good fight. Good fight, dude. Morgan's thrown axes, though. He has three left. There's gotta be plenty on the ground, just saying. I know it seems like a short amount of time for you guys to watch this clip, but that fight was nine minutes long. It took me nine minutes to kill him because there was a lot of bang fighting and then he finally decided to bolt for it. All right, I feel like one of these keys has to be good. 39K, 249K. Nah, I'm pretty sure that's mostly garbage. Okay, that literally is garbage. That's good, 20K cash and... You know what, I guess all the loot was in... Well, the loot. <laughs> Dude, that was a really... I needed that. I needed that for a rebuild. Found one. Come on. That's got to be dead. That's really sad. That makes me incredibly sad. Yep. Bank key. I don't even think I can go through. So here's the thing. Every season, there's this one guy who always attacks people in safe zones while they're AFK, kills them, telegrabs their bank key, and then suicides to his main. Gonna preface this with, this still shouldn't be a thing. You should not be able to attack people that enter safe zone, because if you're in a safe zone, you can't actually retaliate anyway, so it's it shouldn't be like that. Anyway... I decided to try to kill him. Then the dude who uses cheap tactics to kill people that are AFK in a safe zone doesn't like the fact that I attacked him, so he suicides and loses all of his keys and his stats just so I won't get the keys. Can this be patched? You shouldn't even be able to run into a safe zone at all for any reason because that's pretty much ragging what he just did because he didn't want to actually lose any of his stuff. And by the way, couldn't tell he grabbed any of it. Yep, I right, good fight. Oh, sorry, bro. I lost keys twice, dude. Legit, I lost keys freaking twice because people went into safe zones. So, you know what? I feel like I deserve this key, even though it's going to be nothing. Found a guy. Looks like he's PKing. Oh, yep. Oh, caught the refreeze. Come on. Do him dirty. Come on. There we go. Good fight, dude. Took me freaking four hours to get him, but or find someone. But at least I got someone. Oh, he's big boy. Oh, he's gonna have some stuff fall on him too. Yep. Oh wow. The environment just helped me kill him. Wow, dude. All right, let's check keys. Oh my gosh, a 630k key. I hope it's not bad. Uh, 113k cash. I mean, everything else is kind of bad, but 113k cash. So for those wondering why I'm killing people at Winter Todd, that's the reason why. Because the person I killed for that key was this dude. Screw it. I guess I'm going to skull up. Yeah, I skulled up again. I have nothing. Well, we'll find out, I guess. Trash, thanks. So, I've tried this bait before, and it actually worked again. You attack someone, fight them for a little bit, they do a little bit of damage, pretend like you're out of food, 
then you run away for a while you know pretend like you're hurting like you're about to die when they're super far away from any safe zone or bank turn on them just ran out of run energy and now i think he just realized that it was a bait I'm trying to enter that cave and he can't enter it nice oh he's panicking here i think he's out yep good fight wow Successfully baited him all the way from the bank or well not from the bank from like a safe spot though Honestly, though I can't believe that people still fall for that So if you ever see someone running away like that you fought them for maybe 30 seconds not even Probably a bait don't follow it. It's not worth it. You'll probably die Uh, Yeah, well Nothing <laughs> Again, uh, at least the I got like the D sim and everything. There's that. Apparently wants me to put it in video. Oh, okay. Yeah, I honestly need it anyway. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. So I want to get myself 70 prayer right now. And the best way, well, rather the cheapest way to do that is just buy and sold heads. In the normal game, this gives you like 1,150 XP or something like that. So I should be getting about like 11K experience here per head, which would be really nice. You get magic for that as well. That's like legit so good. Yeah, 11,000 XP. So uh, what, per inventory, what am I getting? Yeah, so I'm literally getting 70,000 experience every six heads. That is like the cheapest prayer you could possibly get. There it is, 70 prayer, and it was like the cheapest thing in the entire universe to actually do. So I'm pretty sure, oh uh, wait, pretty sure I don't have teleport runes. All right, now I just got to catch the melee cap, which unfortunately I got a bit of range experience there. So it lowered the cap by, okay, that's a lot more than I thought it would. All right, so I should probably get like 60 attack and maybe 70 strength. I don't even know. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to figure it out when I actually get it. So while this is super cheap prayer, now that I've actually shown this on video, I feel like more people will probably do it if they didn't know about it before, because this has been here, I think, for a few seasons now, since it's for everyone 100% unlocked right away when you make a new account. So everyone has the ability to do this. You just need the mage level. So just be careful if you are going to do that, because people might PK there. Yeah. Good fight, bro. I'll leave all your stuff. I just want the key. Oh, found a guy. Seven. Oh, he's got a Tome of Fire. Bro. He just TB'd me. How'd he catch that? Yeah, I just want to point out that he caught a TB and an Entangle in Rune and Black Dehyde. All right. Oh. Oh my, oh, that was a chance. He should have died. So I can die to an RNG G mall, but I can't actually get one myself. 39K, okay. <laughs> oh, found a guy. So this dude and I fought for like four or five minutes. Then he decides that he wants to go to multi to escape. I figured there might be a team, but honestly, I don't care because this is a really big PK. So he tries to get his friend to hop on me and his friend is newbie too. So I know I could kill him, but I got to focus this guy first because it's a huge kill. He's going to die here. He's dead. He's dead. He's got to be dead here. Dead. Yep, he's dead here. Hit the other guy. Okay, got him. That's a delight. Oh, freaking, that's awesome, dude. That's so good. Easily my biggest kill this season. That's one of the biggest kills I've had in pretty much any season because the D plate legs, the leaf bladed battle axe, the G maul, they might seem like they're not that much, but they are all very expensive items. Anyway. His friend was still here. He didn't try to bail. And as I said, I could probably kill him. And even though I really don't have too much food, I'm going for him. Yep, he's good. Good fight. We got him. We got both of these guys. Oh, we're just not hitting though. I'm just going to stay on him. He should be dead here. Yep. Good fight. Well, we got both of them. Mysterious emblems as well. Even though I've gotten whip kills and all that good stuff in dead man mode before, I think this was my proudest dead man mode moment in quite a while because I got the kill with pretty little KO potential and I took both of them down. So pretty safe to say we went well past the point of rebuilding. So let's check our keys. All right, let's check this. 
A two mil key. I got a two mil key and a 486 mil key, and one of them has a D scimitar. Uh, that's kind of bad, to be honest, the blue wizard hat G. But 200 sharks. Uh, oh my gosh, dude. That was big. That was a huge PK. Plus the leaf bladed battle axe, the G mall. The dragon plate legs, that's got to be absolute bank, bro. So I want to stay on the season at least until I get a hold of the new armors. And that's going to be quite a few XP caps before I can actually do that. But I want to go PKing with those before I stop playing the season. Because as of right now, it's not dying. And it's pretty good to see that the season is dying this fast. So I pretty much just want to be able to play until I can actually get a hold of the new armors and then go use them. After that, I'll be pretty satisfied with the season.